All right, so by request, I'm putting together a do-it-yourself for Surfite, a little instructional video. First, you're gonna need Surfite. There's a bunch of different kinds. It comes in a bunch of varieties. You can pick what you like. I get it online. I have a particular supplier that I like to go to. You can get a whole bunch of different stuff. There's a lot of prep material for this. So what you're gonna need is a sander. I use a mouse by Black & Decker. You can use pretty much whatever you want, but you're gonna want one that you can hold in your hand. You're also gonna want several different types of sanding material to go on the front. I'm using a 60 grit, an 80 grit, and a 120 grit, which is progressively from coarse up to fine. And then after that, I've got my sanding block, which I use for really just buffing it out at the end before I gloss it. You're also going to want a Dremel. This is by Craftsman. You can get whatever kind you want. And you're going to want a really fine drill tip on it. This is 1 16th of an inch diameter. That's going to be for putting the hole in the top of your pendant or your earring or whatever it is. You're also going to want a cutting disc. I use the one and a half inch metal cutting disc. I like it. I think it works really well. It's quick. It's easy. That's what I like to use. And this goes on my Dremel when I'm ready to cut a piece out. Get a respirator mask. When I was talking to people originally, they told me I could use a regular dust mask. Absolutely not. It will mess up your lungs. I was breathing the stuff for maybe 20 seconds. My lungs burned for the next three days. Spring for the extra money. It's only about 30 bucks. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Get a respirator mask. You're gonna want some gloves for when you're doing the cutting. You may also want it for when you're doing the sanding. I don't, I like the feel of bare hand sanding because it gives me a better idea what I'm getting. If you need your hands to look nice, if you have any job where that's important, or if you're just not really fond of sanding down a spot on your hand on occasion, get the gloves. When you're using the cutting tool, the Dremel, anything like that, the gloves are not going to save your hands, but they'll give you an extra couple uh, milliseconds to figure out, oh crap, I went too far. It's happened to me before. I took off a little edge here. My hands were fine. Don't count on it to keep you perfectly safe. You're going to want safety goggles, okay? These are cheap. Cost me like a buck. You put them on, people go, oh, I don't have to wear it, it'll be fine. Surfite is basically like working with glass in many ways. You want something to protect your eyes unless you feel like going blind, okay? Get something to protect your eyes. You also want some sort of hearing protection. Some people like earplugs. Some people like the ones that go over. Some people don't mind being deaf. Uh, it's up to you. That's your call. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of surfite. I decided to work with this one today. And you're going to cut a piece off. You're going to use the Dremel and your cutting bit. And you're going to go and take a piece off. Okay. I was thinking about the length of this video. So I'm ahead of you. I cut a piece off. Then you're going to take the Dremel with the attachment here. And you're going to put a hole right in the top of the area where you're going to want to attach your jump ring or your earring piece or whatever it is that you're going to work with. Okay. Pick the thin side. It works better. The thicker end, not so much. You're going to take your sander. You're going to put on the coarsest grain that you have. For me, it's a 60, okay? You're going to sand it down, shape it, round out the corners. They cut, they're they very sharp, okay? When you, when you first cut the piece off, it's going to be sharp. Round out the edges. It's far more comfortable. And keep in mind when you're sanding that you want to keep your hands on the flat sides. You don't want to be putting it all over the sharp edges, okay? It sounds really simple. Keep it in mind. You may forget. After you work with the coarse, mine's is the 60, you work progressively down to 
the finer grain. So 60 to 80 to 120, that's what I use for surfite. Then you're gonna use the sanding block that I showed you earlier. Okay, you're gonna take that piece of surfite. It looks pretty eh once you're done sanding it. You're gonna take it. I forgot to show you this, but it was sitting right there. So you're gonna dunk it in this glass of water. Now, the cool part of that is it's gonna give you an idea of what that piece is gonna look like when you're finally done with it. It's not perfect, but it'll give you an idea, okay? And you're gonna rub all that excess dust off from your sander. You take your sanding block. I dunk both pieces in the water and I go like this. And you go, hey, you're not wearing your respirator mask. You're right, I'm not. That's why I dunk it in the water. It cuts down on the aerosol, it's wet sanding and it actually does a really good job. Okay? You can't do it with the sander, the regular sander, because it's not gonna work. It's not, the water doesn't last, the wet doesn't last. But with the sanding block, it does. You keep dunking it, okay? You keep sanding until all of those marks from your sander are gone, okay? Because no matter how fine the grit is on that sander, you're still gonna end up with some marks. The sanding block just really super, super, super fine, just kinda takes those out. Then you are going to take ha, 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 the secret ingredient that I didn't tell you you needed. Your top coat. Sorry, forgot to tell you. You're going to need some clear nail varnish. Okay? You want the no chip, high gloss stuff. It might be a couple of extra bucks, like $6 or something. It's awesome. And you're going to put it on that piece. And you're going to do about three different layers of that. Apply, let dry. Apply, let dry. Apply, let dry. And you're going to do every side of the pendant. Bear in mind that if you do a side with the gloss, you can't turn it down and put it down immediately after. So I do about three sides and then I flip it. Anyway, that's a, that's a minor thing. And what you're going to end up with is something similar to this. It's hard to see on the video, but that looks really nice. And once you gloss it, it looks even better. Good luck, have fun, toodles.